Hello friends I'm Um and you're welcome to the first weekly tech news of our channel. And this week something amazing has happened. Steam OS which is an exclusive operating system for Steam Deck handheld has now gone public supporting all the other Steam Decks and you can install Steam OS right on your PC without any problem just like a normal distro. Valve has finally released this Steam OS 3.7 to the stable channel marking a significant milestone in their handheld gaming. Now the best part is that they extended the compatibility which extends support beyond Steam Deck allowing installations on other handhelds and AMD based PCs potentially challenging the Windows dominance in the portable gaming and normal PC gaming. Now this version has been upgraded to new Arch Linux base with the Linux kernel upgraded to version 6.11 and it has updated Mesa graphics better desktop mode which offers Plasma 6.2.5 and introduction of frame limiting support for VRR displays which are like variable refresh rate and it has added battery charge limit control in the settings as well. These are all the updates which makes SteamOS the best alternative to Windows when it comes to gaming especially on AMD based devices. If you have an AMD CPU then you're in luck you can try SteamOS right now and enjoy the power of Arch Linux for your gaming. And now let's move to the next news. Firefox. So the new update of Firefox 139 brings notable improvements. Starting with a custom new tab experience, users can now personalize their new tab pages with custom wallpapers, colors and including a new celestial category. And this update also has better Nvidia graphics adapter support and multi-monitor setups with mixed refresh rates. So the stability of this browser is going up without any problem. Just after Zorin OS dumped Firefox for Brave Browser, it's obvious that Firefox needs to get into that position where Firefox can again be the latest native Linux browser. Just remember, in almost every Linux distro, you're gonna see Firefox as the default browser. There's a reason for that. But along the way of development, Firefox actually forgot what it meant at the start end. And that's what Firefox is trying to do now. They're actually getting back remembering why Firefox mattered to a lot of operating systems as their default web browser. Now let's move ahead to the next news. And it's not so good but it's now time to farewell our beloved Linux Format Magazine. After the remarkable 25 year journey, Linux Format Magazine has released its final issue, number 329 dated July 2025. This publication has been cornerstone for Linux enthusiasts offering insights, tutorials, reviews. It was an amazing time how well a magazine which was dedicated to Linux has a remarkable 25 year journey. And now its closure marks the end of an era in open source journalism. And just how our beloved magazine has reached the end of the marathon of 25 years, AI has just began running. And the next news is about Google's AI. Now Google has significantly strides in AI, which is focused on on-device AI processing. A newly released app enables Android smartphones to run AI models locally without internet connectivity. This allows functionalities like image creation, question answering and code generation directly on device, enhance privacy and efficiency without any internet. And then there are antitrust challenges as well. In the recent antitrust trial, a federal judge critically examined Google's resistance to propose remedies aimed at curbing at its dominance in AI and search engine markets. The US government advocate for stringent restrictions to ensure fair competition. These developments highlight both technological advancements and regular challenges faced by technical giants in the leap of AI. And I just remembered that Sundar Pichari actually made a statement like, that internet was big but AI is gonna be bigger. But in my opinion it actually meant that internet was able to connect millions of people together sharing a platform where they communicated e with each other. But AI is gonna might end up doing the opposite of that. Now with the help of AI you don't need to go to internet you just ask your AI anything and it's gonna tell you the latest stuff. If you have any problem go with AI you can like there are forums communities social media groups, channels on YouTube and Facebook, Instagram and everything. Like it's my prediction. Maybe we might end up reaching a place where AI can do all that stuff. 
you don't need to just go to internet search and go through forums communities youtube channels youtube videos ai might end up doing anything for everyone and that is sort of a good thing but not in a positive way it might be like just an end to our digital communications well it might also help us to go out and do the real life communication with real people like yeah you know what i'm talking about let's just leave the topic for now we'll talk about it some other video other news videos so yeah next up we have peer tube's new mobile app if you don't know peer tube is just like youtube but better and now peer tube has launched a crowdfunding campaign to enhance its mobile application this app developed by a non-profit framesoft aims to provide a decentralized video sharing platform this campaign sees funding for additional features and gauge public interest in the project well i believe i'm in support for that are you now let's move to our second last news of this video geforce now is now on well geforce now is now on steam deck there are a lot of nows these days but yeah as you know geforce now is an amazing cloud gaming platform which is now landed natively and officially on steam deck which offers a wide range of amazing games which are not supported on steam deck natively now can be played using cloud and now users can stream with rtx 4080 level graphics extend play time for up to 7 to 8 hours and when docked to 4k tv the steam deck can output 4k 60 hdr with ray tracing graphics rivaling next gen consoles yes cloud gaming is the future maybe and now we're at the end of our news video and the end is pretty good i believe cuz it's about then again steam deck So as we know as a Linux user I know that it is very important to go Linux mainstream and Valve has doing the same thing with Steam Deck and now after so much time like Steam OS has been a proprietary for Steam handhelds but at last Steam Deck has finally like released its wings something like that like finally at last Steam OS is now on the mainstream media and a lot of people on the internet are trying it out using it on different PCs whether you talk about ETA prime like man even ETA prime every time he gets a new device which is supposed for gaming he's going to try it once on windows or the native operating system and then he's going to install steam os or bash it os in that and then create another video about it you can just imagine like how big of an impact steam os and bash it os are making in the mainstream market and that is the thing we needed as linux enthusiast this just might be the starting point of where linux is going to rise to the mainstream media we are still at 4% but thanks to steam os and ba- bash it os steam deck it's going to increase in the future no doubt about it and that is why when i say that yes linux is literally amazing it is and it's going to be even better in the future and with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video tell me in the comments how was this latest new fresh tech weekly news video and yeah if you have any comments or suggestions for new videos on this channel then i'm always open to suggestions so yep see you in the next video till then i'm on signing out